Hi, I'm Shane and welcome back to See It My Way. I feel it's important for the blind or visually impaired to learn assistive technology to become independent. So today is a short video on how to use voiceover for Apple devices. This tutorial will be applicable for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. First, let's learn to turn on VoiceOver. Settings. First, One go to Settings. Double tap to open. Actions available. Settings. Once in Settings, go to General. Do not disturb. Selected. General. One update available. Selected. About. Button. Once in General, go to Accessibility. About. Software update. One. AirDrop. Handoff. Multitasking and dock. Accessibility. Button. Selected. Vision. Heading. Once in accessibility, go to voiceover. Vision. Heading. Voiceover. On. But selected. Voiceover. On. Double tap to toggle setting. Once in voiceover, go to voiceover on and off. Voiceover. On. Double tap to toggle set. Voiceover off. Double tap turn off. Now that voiceover is off, I cannot see the screen, so I have created a shortcut to turn voiceover back on. That shortcut is triple tap the home button. Voiceover on. Settings. Now let's learn to turn on the shortcut. Voiceover. Heading. Accessibility. Back Go button. Back to accessibility. Accessibility. Vision. Heading. Once in accessibility, scroll all the way to the bottom. Touch accommodation. Rose 12 to 26 of 26. Rose 12 to accessibility shortcut. Voiceover. Go to accessibility button. shortcut. Selected. Triple click the home button for heading. Once in the shortcuts, go down to voiceover. Reduce white point. Smart invert. Switch control. Selected. Voiceover. Voiceover. I just turned voiceover off, so I'll turn it back on. Voiceover. Selected. Voiceover. Now let's return to home. FaceTime. Let's learn to read the items on the screen. There are three ways to do this. Number one, just drag your finger around on the screen. FaceTime. Palette. Clock. Maps. Home. App Store. The second Double way to is to swipe your finger to the left or right at the bottom of the screen. iBooks. Settings. Page to a dog. Safari. Mail. Music. Double tap to open. The third way to do this is swipe up with two fingers and it will read everything on the screen from the top to the bottom. FaceTime. Calendar. Saturday. February 24th. Photos. Camera. Contacts. Do a two finger tap Clock. to stop talking. Maps. Now, another way is to do a two-finger swipe down, and that will read from a selected item. Notes. Notes. Reminders. News. iTunes Store. App Store. Two-finger tap iBooks. to stop. Settings. Now, let's learn to swipe from page to page, and the way you do this is a three-finger swipe. Tips. One new item. Google Earth. Double tap. Page five of five. Twitter. Page four of five. Google page three of five. Tips. Home. Page two of five. Page three of five. Tips. Now, Double let's to learn open. to open an app. Direct TV. Audio note. KNFB reader. Double tap to open. Blind square. Sound. Netflix. Messenger. Facebook. YouTube. Once you have selected to open. an app, double tap. YouTube. To go back to your home page, hit the home button. YouTube. The next thing we will learn is how to use the rotary function. And what this function does is it allows you to read characters, words, headings, change certain actions, change the speaking rate. So how you work this is you take two fingers and you go clockwise or reverse clockwise. Speaking rate, words, characters, headings. Containers. So if you click on an app right here, Photo Booth, and you want to know Double how tap to open. Photo Booth is spelled, you go to Characters. Speaking rate, words, characters. Once in Characters, swipe up and down. Cap P H O T O space Cap E. Now to go in reverse, swipe Pro back cap up. Cap space O T O H Cap P. Or if you want to read the words, Alpha. words. Go to words, swipe Photo. up down. Booth. Or if you'd like to change the speaking rate, change it to speaking rate. Speaking rate. Once you are in speaking rate, swipe up or down. 
55, 50, 45 percent, 50 per 55, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80 percent, 85 percent, 90 percent, 95 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent. As you can see at 100 percent, it is pretty fast. We'll go back down to where I had it. 85 percent, 80 percent, 75 percent, 70 percent, 65 percent, 60 percent. So the rotary function is quite useful. The next thing we'd like to learn is the help button for voiceover. And how you start this is you do a four finger double tap. Starting help. To stop help, perform a four finger double tap or two finger scrub, or press escape on the keyboard. Now once your help is on, you can do any gestures with your fingers and it'll tell you what that gesture will do, such as swiping up with two fingers. Two finger flick up. Read page starting at the top. Two finger flick down. Two finger flick down. Read page starting at selected item. Three finger swipe to the right. Three finger flick right. Scroll left one page. Three finger flick left. Scroll right one page. Three finger flick up. Scroll down one page. Three finger flick down. Scroll up one page. So any finger combination you can think of, just give it a try. Now let's turn this off. It'll be a four finger double tap to turn it back off. Four finger double tap. Toggle voice over help. Stopping help. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to close out the apps we have opened. First, you will double tap with the home key. App switcher. YouTube. Active. Swipe up with three fingers to close the app. We should have YouTube and settings open. So we'll swipe up with three fingers to close YouTube. Closing YouTube. Settings. Active. We'll swipe up with three fingers to close settings. Closing settings. Mute. Switch button. Off. And our apps are closed. I hope today's video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for seeing it my way, and always keep happy.